Welcome to this introduction to JCOS Music Tagger. JCOS is a professional music tagger application designed to simplify the task of managing our digital music collection. It combines automatic music identification with powerful manual editing. It can also reorganize, rename, and delete duplicate songs. So we have three albums that we have scrubbed of any metadata, including the folder and file names. So first of all, we are going to load them into JCOS. We can see they have no existing metadata. Let's run the autocorrector task. This can be configured to run multiple tasks. We have it configured to try and match albums to Music Brains, Discogs, and Bandcamp. It can also use a Kust ID to create an audio fingerprint to help with matching to Music Brains. Actually, we have close integration to Music Brains. Jayco's was the second tagger after Music Brains Picard to support the Music Brains database back in 2008. So as you can see, Jayco's has matched all three albums. And it is important to note that unlike many other music taggers, you don't need to work one album at a time, and you don't have to give it hints. Now that we have some metadata, we can use the column browser to select an album. Let's take a look at the first one, Battle Circus by Battle Circus. If we look at the Info tab, we can see all the basic information has been added, such as artist, album, title, disc number, track number, artwork, and year. If we go to the Album tab, we see entries for other fields about the album. This particular album is a self-released album released on Bandcamp. The Music Brains tab shows links to the Music Brains artist, release, and track. You can open the web page from the View menu. For example, here we view the Music Brains release. In the Relations tab, we also have links to the artist and album on Discogs and Bandcamp. On the Rune tab, we can see the performers and other technical roles. When the small number in the button is greater than 1, this indicates the field has multiple values. So if we click on the button, we see we have four performers with their instruments. Let's select the second album, a classical piano album. On the Album tab, we see we have retrieved ISRC, barcode, catalog number, and record label. On the Sorting tab, see that we have the sort name for the album artist and the composer. This allows the artists to be ordered alphabetically in the expected last name, first name format. On the Classical tab, we can see that we have added details of the movement and work. Now let's look at the third album a pop music compilation album. On the album tab, we can see the Is Compilation flag has been checked. We also have Is Greatest Hits and Is Live flags. On the Dates tab, the original year field shows the earliest release of each song on the album. We can compare any changes with the original values using the View pane. Select View then Show Pane. The top view shows the values currently in file, and the two views are synced together. If a field is purple, it indicates it has changed. OK, let's switch this view off. Note that nothing has been actually saved to the files yet, and we can confirm this in the file manager. So you can continue editing or use the file menu, then select Revert to Saved to undo the changes. But let us select all files and then save the changes with the Save Changes item from the file menu. And in File Manager, we see the files now have metadata. Now you may have noticed the folder and file name have not changed. So far, we have only modified the metadata within the files, but we can do this easily. File paths are split into three components, base folder, subfolder, and file name. Select correct file name from metadata. And now the files are renamed using the form disk number track number title. Select correct subfolder from metadata, and we see now the subfolders are renamed as album artist then album. Except for the compilation album, this also contains a disc number folder. Only this album has this level because it is the only multi-disc album. Let us save changes, and we can see the files have been renamed in the file manager.
These masks are completely configurable. Let's go to Preferences and then File and Folder Correct tab and Rename File from Metadata tab. So we are currently using the Album Artist or Artist Album, Disif Multidisc Slash Disc, Track, Title Mask, but then are many more to choose from as we can see from scrolling down the list. And they are editable, and we can create new ones as well. So let's edit the one we are using. We can see we have access to a very powerful scripting language and all our metadata fields. And we have three examples we can test our mask against. Let's pick another mask, this classical slash HD slash album artist or artist slash album slash disif multidisc slash track title and use it with autocorrect. We can select to use a different mask for compilation albums, but we are just going to select the same one this time. Run correct subfolder from metadata again. We can see that a new subfolder has been introduced that splits classical albums from pop rock albums. It does this based on the value of the is classical flag. Jaco's has a special configurable algorithm to identify classical albums. We can also use manual correct to music brains and specify exactly what album to match to. For example, if we run against the Battle Circus album, there are two versions of the same release. And if we view them in Music Brains, we see there is both a CD version. And a digital version. JCOs can also delete duplicate files. We don't have any duplicates, so let us just make some by making copies of some of the files in one of the albums in File Explorer. Let's copy the first three songs from Battle Circus. Reload the files. Switch to the Info tab. Select Delete Duplicates from the toolbar and we see that three songs have their status set to red for delete. Jaco's has correctly identified where there were duplicates and marked the copy of the song as the one that should be deleted. They are not actually deleted yet, but if we select save changes again, we see they disappear from the list and have disappeared from the file manager as well. Now they are deleted. Jaco's is also very powerful when it comes to manual editing. The main view acts like a simple spreadsheet, select a cell, and we can copy and paste them to other cells. Select some cells, and set value to set to same value. Or add a value to the start or end of the existing value. We can remove extra spaces with Remove Wide Space. Or make the text lowercase. Or uppercase. Or title case. We can also use Scripter to write scripts that can set fields to combinations of other fields. Let's select all files from Column Browser and run Scripter. So for example, here we add to predefined scripts, one to replace the composer field with just their last name, and one to remove padding from the disk number field. On the Info tab, we see that we the padding has been removed. Look at the sorting tab, we can see the composer field has changed to just show the last name. We can also export the metadata to a spreadsheet using Advanced Export. Now let's open this in an actual spreadsheet application.
what we can do is edit the spreadsheet. So let's just change the artist field for the first album to something else and save the spreadsheet. As long as we don't modify the file name in the first column or edit the column headers, we can use the full features of the spreadsheet for editing our metadata. Then we simply use advanced import to import the modified metadata for the songs. And now we can see the artist field has changed. We don't want to keep these changes, so let's just reload these files from disk. JCOS is also very configurable. If we go to Preferences and look at a few options in the Appearance tab, we see we can change from Light Mode to Dark Mode. And we can configure the toolbar. The table tabs are fully configurable. If we go to the Music Brains Format tab, we see we can specify exactly what fields to modify with AutoCorrect. The Remote Correct tab is used by Music Brains and Discogs. The Format subtab has a lot of options to configure exactly how we format key fields such as Artist, Album Artist, and Album. The Classical tab has some very useful options, such as always removing the composer from the Album Artist field and adding it to the album title if it is missing. Within the Local Correct tab, the Delete Duplicates tab is where we configure how duplicates are found. Within the Manipulators tab, the Auto Correct tab is where we specify the tasks performed by the Auto Corrector. The Scripter tab lets us write and save predefined scripts. The Capitalizer can be adjusted with various exception words. So I hope you can see that JCOS is a very powerful tool for both automatic identification, batch and ad hoc editing. JCOS is available for Windows, macOS and Linux and works the same on all platforms. The trial version lets you try out all the features and save a limited number of files so you can check it works for you before purchase. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions just post a comment on YouTube or our community forums and we will get back to you.